Dropouts, welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for tuning back in. And if you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Matthew. I make daily Shopify videos, giving you guys course level content for absolutely free. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button go leave me a comment down below letting me know how i did and just to give you guys just a little bit extra incentive if you do end up doing those three things i do give away a one-on-one -on -one mentorship call every single video so if you skip through my little intro thing well go back and check out to see if you want on the last video anyway guys let's jump into today's video and back by popular demand guys today we're going to be taking a look at five shopify apps that i really enjoy and again i've made a video about this earlier and i want to make a quick disclaimer these apps are not going to rescue your store. If your store is not doing well, it's not doing well. These apps will not save it. So don't go to these apps and think, oh, my, my store will be saved. Okay, these are just some apps that I didn't mention in my last video. Uh, these are going to be more paid apps in this one. So if you're more interested in my free apps, uh, I'll link you guys. Just click on the eye uh, up in this corner, I think, and go hit on that video to go check out that video about the uh, Shopify app scam. It's not really a scam, but I just call it that to clickbait you guys. All right, guys. So number one is going to be Clavio marketing automation. And the reason I had this instead of MailChimp is that from what I've heard talking to my friends who are consultants who do a lot more email marketing than me is that Clavio tends to have higher rates of getting into the inbox whereas MailChimp tends to go more into junk, junk and trash and spam so it's actually harder for your customers to even see it so uh, relatively they do the same thing they're not much different and right you still got your email recapture tools you still got you know all that kind of stuff you got your analytics and uh, yeah that's why I love it it's free up to a certain point I think it's like a hundred or a 150 emails so go ahead and use it right it's going to help your store a little bit maybe not much but still it gives you that credibility when somebody purchases they get an automatic receipt all that stuff it's important so definitely go ahead and check out Clavio. Yeah, so pretty nice. And I'm pretty sure they actually have nicer templates. And anyway, next is going to be best currency converter. So this is also free for the first five currencies that you use. And I've never actually brought this one up. And it's because my stores use a custom theme that actually come with a uh, currency converter. So, you know, this is actually pretty important, especially since we're running worldwide ads. And those are the ads that I teach. And if you're listening to me, then you're going to need a currency converter. It's going to make things a lot easier for your international customers. So definitely go ahead and check out best currency converter. It's super good and it looks nice. I really like the way uh, like these little flags look. I think it's super cute. Oh, let me show you guys. See, it's just like, it's nice. I like that. It adds some color to if you have a blank page, basically, if you have like a default Shopify page, the default Shopify theme, sorry, uh, it adds some color. And I don't know, I just think I honestly think it looks good. I think that's like, I think it's beautiful. To be honest, I might start using it even on my paid stores on my paid theme stores. All right. So now oh, let me move this back. Uh, now we're going to be talking about quantity break and quantity breaks is tiered pricing uh, for products. So one of the most important things when you're running a shop five stores to squeeze out as much profit per customer as much revenue from a customer right because cost that we spent on them is already sunk it's gone they've already clicked on the ad so we've already spent money on them coming to the store and so any money that we bring in on top of that is is perfect so what I like about quantity breaks is that a lot of products you might not think about it people tend to buy one uh, two or three of and what we want to do is give people incentive to go ahead and do that because right who cares the profit margin is the same but the cost of buying that second unit there is no advertising cost on it because they've already clicked on it for the first one right so you split that advertising in half and we can start giving people discounts and so you know it's important even it, here it only shows 5 10 15 but screw that do two three four right give get people buying two right it's really going to help your store and this is actually probably one of the most important apps so this is something you should definitely consider i don't know why i just put on this ring sorry it was just sitting on my desk uh <clears throat> but yeah so it's 19.99 but you have 14 days so before you get this app definitely get a get a few product pages ready to start testing ads on so that you can see whether this app is going to help you and if you want to pay for one month of it after that 14 days go ahead keep testing but before you get this definitely go ahead and get ready with product pages that you can start advertise advertising on within those 14 days and testing all right so next is going to be upsell apps so I just wrote upsell because man, there's so many different ones and they all serve such different purposes. So bold is nice. It's probably the best. It's probably the most commonly used one, but you know, you can also make bundles. So I'm kind of torn between upsells and bundles because bundles are nice. For example, you know, you go to Best Buy or you go to Costco and you see, and you're going to buy an Xbox. Like what makes more sense buying the Xbox or buying the Xbox for like an extra 150 bucks with the two controllers and like two free games or some shit, right? 
So making, if you're, if you have a lot of similar products that really go hand in hand together that people basically want, but don't need together. Well, smart bundles or smart, smart seven bundles might be a smart choice for you, right? Because uh, there are upsells, but there are also, you know, bundles and stuff like that. And, and bold upsell is also good. So check out both of those and kind of uh, figure it out, right? They both have free trials, so you can test them both out, see which one works better for you. Uh, but like I said, uh, bold tends to be the more common one recommended by people on YouTube. And just, I, I think, yeah, obviously when you write upsell, it's the first one to pop up. So it's pretty obvious it's the most popular one. And then lastly, uh, this one, definitely non-essential one, is gonna be Aftership. And what this does is basically gives a very easy way for your customer to track their shipments and have it all branded by your store. So it's not like sketch or anything. It gives credibility to your store. Uh, it makes customers feel more okay with buying from your store and shopping on your store because they know they're gonna get these codes and they know they're gonna get tracking stuff. So it's definitely nice for the customer, but it is expensive. It's, it's free to install, but then it costs money for every time you get a purchase. So, uh, you know, take a look at your profit margin, see if it's gonna be worth it to have on your store. But uh, this is definitely something that customers really like. And if you've ever bought online, you know you're constantly refreshing that tracking info. So uh, give your customers that same benefit and uh, go ahead and get after shit. All right, guys. So I think that's going to do it for this video. And uh, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, if you're more interested in free apps and apps that I think are a little bit more essential, you can go ahead and click on the uh, on the eye that's going to pop up right here. And that's going to be the apps that I recommended earlier, which are more beginner apps. And they're the apps that I think are more essential that are free. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and click there. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Sorry it was a little bit bleh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.